investigations. Austin filmmaker Robert Rodriguez's latest and perhaps most controversial film makes its red carpet premiere tonight at the Paramount Theater. Because of its political overtones and ultra-violence across racial lines, Machete may not qualify for tax incentives at government expense. That decision is yet to be made. But as KXAN's David Scott reports all new at 6, reaction to the film will begin tonight. The film hasn't even opened yet, so why are so many people hacked off at Machete? The political overtones of Robert Rodriguez's new film could slash the box office turnout. We'll soon find out. He was given an offer he couldn't refuse. He ever killed anyone before. Danny Trejo plays Machete, an ex-federale turned renegade, kidnapper, would-be assassin, and beheader of men. And he's the good guy. He eventually rallies a group of illegal immigrants to take his revenge on the evil, exploitive, and racist whites littered through the Texas power structure. With rising real tension over America's immigration situation, white and brown moviegoers may find fault with all this. The incendiary political overtones are obvious, as seen in this teaser during Cinco de Mayo. This is Machete, the special Cinco de Mayo message. To Arizona. Make no mistake, we are at war. Every time an illegal dances across our border, it is an act of aggression against this sovereign state, an overt act of terrorism. He's coming after us. We didn't cross the border! The state legislature has been fattening up its tax incentive fund to encourage filmmakers to Texas. The incentives can total as much as 17% of the film cost, based on the type of project and how much money was spent in Texas. But you can't make the state look bad if you want their money. The decision is in the hands of Bob Hudgens, head of the Texas Film Commission. He tells KXAN that this will be treated like every other project, that this is a very serious determination. Hudgens adds that although this is a fictional story, does it portray Texas or Texans in a bad light? Machete is based on a fictional movie trailer that appeared in the earlier film Grindhouse. Now it's unflappable director Robert Rodriguez jokes that despite the controversy, he might make Machete sequels. And then do part two and three as a double feature. So it'd be Machete kills and Machete kills and Machete kills again. It's a double feature. When people want something that bad, you know, you got to make it. And I just, I just dreamt about it too long. We need our own exploitation character. A decision on those tax incentives could take many months. David Scott, KXEN, Austin News.